Hey guys, it's D-Mike here for the final episode of Super Mario Galaxy. I think it's kind of crazy that I'm able to say that. I honestly had no thoughts that I would be able to get through one series with Link's Awakening, let alone two. So it feels pretty good that, you know, I've got a good rhythm and things are going well. If you enjoyed this series, if you've enjoyed Link's Awakening, Super Nintendo Sundays, etc., all of the previous games that I've played and will continue to play, please don't hesitate to watch the videos, like them if you do, comment, love seeing comments, that's really great, and subscribe so you can get up to the date stuff that I'm going to be doing. There's going to be some changes to the channel in the future, I'm going to be trying to mix up some new content and have some stuff that's not quite as scheduled and routine, just might kind of throw some stuff in there depending upon if I'm feeling like it and start some new series, but we'll find out. So we're down to the uh, the final three stars here. The green stars that we were able to collect throughout. In this game, there's only three. In the sequel, there's 120 extra stars to get, but this one, we just have these three special ones. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. These ones are kind of considered like the extra challenge stars. And I mean, they are tough. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to beat them in this episode, but uh, you know, we'll figure it out. This thing that I'm walking on kind of looks like the Everlasting Gobstopper from the old Willy Wonka movie. Which is weird because they gave that name to Candy that is not, uh... It doesn't, it's not that shape, it's like, it's something very different. It's like, they're just little jawbreaker spheres. So, you can talk to any of these green Lumas in any order that you want to. I don't have a preference because I don't know what these are. So we're going to start with the Rolling Gizmo Galaxy. I think I have an idea in my head of what this is. These are basically just supposed to be extreme versions of stars you've already done. So we'll see how difficult everything really is. This one is a little, this one's a pain in the butt. This is motion controls. You guys all know how much I love motion controls. And I enjoyed this mission the first time around that I did it. This one is pretty tough. Actually, I mean, all of these are meant to be tough, so. Here we go. I'm probably gonna have like a bunch of game overs. I'm just like full clench right now. I think there's a life early in this one. I don't have any muscle memory for this because I I mean, I, I did 100% the game a while ago when I played, but you know, that was like over a year ago. I don't remember really how any of this goes. Fingers crossed. Cross your fingers, cross your toes. If you're superstitious, I'm a little... As the great Michael Scott would say, I'm not superstitious, but I am a little stitious. So this one's a little tough. It does have some rotating platforms and little Goombas to kind of get in your way. My recommendation for these stars, because of how tough they're supposed to be, is just to try to remain patient. And uh, yeah, don't try to overdo it. I know it's tempting to rush. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Little nudge. Little pull yourself up by your bootstraps kind of thing. All right. So these bombs will blow you away. Oh boy. This just feels like a... Uh, like this entire star feels like a... Like a... Oh. Like arrogance personified. There's one part of this I remember that you have to do it a certain way, and if you do it wrong, you have to start all the way over. So hopefully it's not this. Plenty of star bits if you do this sooner than the very end of the game, I guess. Okay. Let's keep going here. Oh boy, I don't think I have enough momentum for this. And that square is going to push me up. We're going to go back. All right. So we're going to keep going here. All right. Wow, well, that was uh, entirely shocking. I said that on my first try. I'm going to feel bad if I've got these final three stars that I hyped up for as long as I did, and then I'm going to, you know, breeze through them. I'm going to let this play for a second, because this is one of my favorite songs, the overworld, not overworld theme, but like the level theme for a Mario 3. This is a great song, so I'm going to be quiet for like a little bit and let you hear it. I don't know how people feel about it, but Mario 3 is uh, my favorite of the 2D platforming Marios. It's the one I grew up with. It wasn't my first Mario, that's Mario 2. The one with Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad. 
That was my first. Part of the All-Stars collection for the Super Nintendo. So we are going to save. We're going to save after every one of these for no reason whatsoever, just because I can. And it's super cool that as soon as you finish one of those stars, it boots you back to the observatory, because, you know, you didn't want to do them all in a row. I guess the game doesn't know that you have all of them accessible at this point, so maybe it figures, you know, you'll go back to it. So the yellow-green Luma is done. Time for the blue-green Luma. loop de swoop galaxy. This one, I believe, is a... is a manta ray version. And you know how fun those are. Yeah, for some reason, I don't care for this one. The... The rolling galaxy wasn't too bad. I honestly feel like I kind of got lucky on a few of those moments. This this one, I don't know. I don't think, I just don't like the mechanics of the way the Manta Ray runs and Steve Irwin deserved better. All right, this course is a monster just like me. So we got three minutes to ride the ride the waves here. Once again, I uh, haven't done this in a while. This was actually one of the earlier stars I did, so my muscle memory for this is going to be exceptionally shallow. So we'll see how well I do, but the game does understand that this is quite brutal, so they do give you two quick one-ups. Once again, the uh, kind of rule of thumb here, oop, be nice if I could articulate my controller better. The rule of thumb, for these Manta Ray missions. You got three minutes, that's not a ton of time. It's just kind of a slow and steady wins the race. That's the thing that kind of makes this tough. There's a lot of one-ups on this one, shockingly. Um, what makes this one tough is that the corridors of travel are a little smaller, so you don't quite have as much leeway to flail around. You want to make a big splash, but not too big of one when you're flopping around. So here we go, we have a bit of a, a loop here. I guess it is called the loop de swoop galaxy. So we do have to take care of that. I am somebody who greatly enjoys roller coasters. I don't know if any of you viewers like roller coasters, but I think they're a fun pastime. I uh, spent a lot of time going to amusement parks as a kid. It was a kind of a nice family vacation, so wasn't too unaffordable but that's it I think you said we had three minutes so hopefully that counts it just missed the best time but I think that's good enough for that star oh boy I was expecting this final star montage to take me like 45 minutes I was gonna make a you know I was gonna make a claim that you know I would go as long as it took me to get this done and you know what did, it, what did you say? Oh, there we go. A little spinning around. Can't go an episode without that. Nice. Would have been cooler if I could have done it in 69 seconds. You must impress the princesses. Actually, they should impress me. I'm the one doing all the work here. Show me some love, ladies. Come on. You with all your celestial powers. I don't know if I'd consider Rosalina a princess, though. If she's like a princess, then like, who is the... She's got a lot of power. Like, who's who's running this shebang? Who's the queen of the universe? Or the king of the cosmos? Is it the dude from uh, Katamari Damacy? Is that how you say that? All right. So that's two stars down in less than 10 minutes. Uh, oops. Was not trying to just power through this, but it is what it is. I think this next one might take me a couple tries. So we'll do the Bubble Blast Galaxy. This was a mechanic that was used, I think, once or twice. And it wasn't too bad. This is probably my... I don't want to say favorite, because I don't, I don't think any of these are my favorite. But this one is kind of like the least bad of the three, I think. It just requires a ton of patience. I know that's what I've been saying about all of these. But this one is a gauntlet. You have five quadrants that make up the different points of the stars. And you have to do all of them in whatever order you want, which is nice. You have to do all of them in this little in this little bubble, if you guys remember the bubble mechanic. Um, 
So yeah, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna be getting star chips here. So we gotta get star chips, and uh, I actually don't know if I don't remember if it's it's I think it's five star chips per star point. I don't know, maybe or not. Maybe that's just the one. Okay, so it was just the one. That was a waste. Well, whatever. We got plenty of time. I'm going to try not to have the quote-unquote challenge star portion of this game be the uh, shortest episode in the Let's Play. That would be unintended. But maybe this is just supposed to show how far I've come as a Super Mario Galaxy Let's Player that I'm so elite at the game. All of that self-deprecation and self-doubt, all that imposter syndrome that I've been beholding this entire time has actually all just been a huge facade so that way I could flex on my entire fan base and watch me complete these final stars of Mario Galaxy. I can reassure you that everything I just said is a lie. So don't worry, I still feel very incapable and I will uh, be shocked if I can pull all of these off in one go. It would be pretty neat. I mean, that's kind of like a final hurrah, but we'll see how we do. At the end of the day, we're all just having fun here. We're all friends. Or at least frenemies. That's all I can ask for. But yeah, this mechanic isn't too bad. I I feel like this first part, this is just kind of like a an appetizer, and that there's like there's an entree that follows this section. So these don't feel too bad. This collecting of the initial star chips. Once again, if you touch any of the electrical things or the the bumper barriers that lead into the walls of electricity, whether it's the moving electricity or the ones that are more static, uh, you it'll pop your bubble and you'll die. So just keep that in mind, and you will have to do it all over again, which is kind of a butt. But, you know, <laughs> I said butt twice. But anyway, in general, it's not... I don't know. This isn't too bad. You, you've got a lot of control. Take your time. I can't imagine this being as fun. I mean, maybe it would be more fun if you're speedrunning, I guess. I mean, you still have to do this part, and you have to do it really quickly. So you got that going for you. But this is very much a a tortoise and the hare situation. I'm gonna be very uh, very much like the tortuga here. So we got these flame cannons here, which are pretty uncool. We went through them once. I believe we have to pop back. So we will wait for those to recharge. It's just kind of a shame that the game leaves this type of stuff for you know the end. I thought that it would've been cooler if they would have. Oh, it's on the other side of it. Okay, gotcha. It would have been cool if they would have kind of made this incremental. Oh, I don't know if I was supposed to be able to clip through that, but I did. A little Easter egg for you. Breaking the rules. Okay, so that's five star chips. Now we can go to the Infinity Gauntlet. Snap our fingers. That's, an, that's a reference to a movie I've never seen. So anyway, we will traverse this very hairy area. I don't know if there's any sort of like motivation to get going. Yeah, there are there are bullet Williams, of course. What else would they possibly expect out of a uh, final gauntlet? But being attacked by explosive devices, that's a good way to get you going. What better way in life to get your act together than to have someone threaten to shoot you with rockets? Okay. So far, so good. I think it'd be cool if that was like really hellish though, if they unleashed like a, a bunch of projectiles at you like really aggressively. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Stay, stay away from me. Excuse you. If one of those platforms could uh, pop in and knock him out, that'd be great. Oh boy, I don't know what's ahead of me. I don't like this at all. Oh boy. Ooh, this is very hairy. This is a very Sasquatch level of concern here. Oh boy, I almost bumped into that myself. Things are getting very tight here. Toy like a toy guy. Oh boy. Let's just go ahead and get out of here. That's three for three, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. That was first tries on everything. We've come so far. That was incredible. And, uh, yeah. 
we're gonna hang out on the screen for a second and just kind of bask in the in the glow of completion. We finished ourselves. It's amazing. That's a galaxy complete. That's a game complete. We're gonna save our game one last time. So in order to actually complete the game, we do have to beat Bowser again. I don't know why they thought this was fun, but... Uh, we'll do it again. It's, it's, it's a nice tidy wrap up. We've already technically done this, but... I mean, you haven't seen this in a while, right? We did that at Star uh, 70. That's when you first unlock this, so... Another rematch with our boy Bowser. Never hurt anybody. And then there's a little extra that I'm going to be doing on uh, on this episode to kind of round things out. It's something that's like been alluded to throughout the course of the game, but I never actually took much stock in it. And you can't really get the full, I guess, experience until you 120 star it. So I will include that as part of like a bonus feature. It'll probably be in this episode. I was thinking about making it its own kind of episode, but then I thought it would throw off the playlist a bit. I don't want to do that. This is a nice tidy 30 episodes. I was kind of hoping to have Link's Awakening be an even amount of episodes. I think it ended up being 21, which is fine, but I'm a man who just loves hacking round numbers, you know? Get off my case. But yeah, we'll do this uh, final Bowser battle one more time, just for fun, to unlock the bonus, I guess, replayability part of this game, which I think is absolutely stupid, and I'm not doing it, so apologies to anybody who knows what that is and is looking forward to it. It's not going to happen, unfortunately. This game has already been so fun beating it once so I'll just go ahead and tell you that uh, I'm not going to spoil what the surprise is what the bonus content is of the game but I will tell you that it's basically just a cosmetic thing there's a slight difference in what you are able to do throughout the game but you're basically tasked with beating the game again and what's your prize if you do that nothing you get nothing so it's all just for fun for I guess the completionists in, in our lives I respect people that enjoy doing that. I am not a completionist. I am, I mean, I always finish, but my my reality is that I just don't have the time or the patience to stick around for things like that. I get enough experience out of the core play through the game that playing through it additionally doesn't really do anything for me. So, bonus endings and such and like I, I get it like I understand why that's fun I understand I'm not trying to be a, po a party pooper a Debbie Downer here I understand why people like that stuff and I encourage you to to embrace and engage in those things if you enjoy it if you want to finish a game top to bottom get all the trophies or rewards or kudos whatever it is that you know yanks your chain whatever you're into I I fully encourage that. I just don't have the patience for it. Maybe when I was younger I would have just because I had more time on my hands and whatnot, but I'm just kind of into the point of my life where, you know, being older, I'm more invested in getting kind of the core, I guess, initial experience, which I don't know is enhanced by playing through everything all the way. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. That's why, like, I know games nowadays have, like, story modes instead of, like, difficulties, which I think is really nice. If you just want to enjoy it, like, after a tough work day or if you've had a rough week and you just want to kind of sit back and not be punished, that's fine. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I do enjoy a good challenge, but I am not good enough at games to warrant that challenge where... Just playing the game on its own the way that they intended 
is usually enough. That's usually good enough of a challenge. So, anyway, we're just powering through it. I'm actually having a really good day doing this. I'm going to pick up this life shroom so this episode does not last longer than it needs to be. It is the final episode, but... We're a baller on a budget. Time is money, if you know what I'm saying. So here we go. Once again, we're going to fight Bowser. This is the final Bowser fight. I'm not sure if this will throw us into the credits after this is done, but if it does, then I might cut those out because I have plans for what I want to show at the end of this. It's just kind of like a, a little, a little bow, a little icing on the cake. So we'll see if we can finish this fight off the first time around. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. So we're already starting off well. We're going to grab this coin and get back up to full health. Bowser's going to be shaking his rump here. Oop. There we go. Yeah, for some reason I'm having a pretty decent game day. Which is... Okay, yeah, that would have been cool if he would have just come my way. Here you go. There we go, my guy. Kind of smashed him onto that little spiky bit. That probably didn't feel too good. Yeah, I wish that they would have just done more with this, because I know that... Oh, that's BS. I got him. I I remember having played through Odyssey. Um, I really enjoyed kind of the final fight. I think that they did a really nice job with that one. Not that they didn't do a nice job with this one. I just... And I know, like, the... This game came out in 2007, so this game's kind of old, but older. Um, I don't know. I just, I just remember really enjoying that. I remember really enjoying the variety and kind of the the attention to detail that they put into it. I really, I really liked that. Bowser over here being a jerk stealing our coins. I really like that sound effect of him rolling around. I've never actually pay attention to listen, because I'm always running my heckin' mouth. I don't know if what I have to do... I keep... It's been a while since I've done this, so I almost wonder if I have to I have to hit him with the green the blobs. I don't know. we got plenty of time to figure it out here in this final episode. Alright, that does work. Hit him with the snot. We're spinning in circles. We're having a good time. He's spinning in circles. I'm spinning in circles. This episode's got me all on a spin. Feels like I'm doing laundry. Alright. So he's... He's regurgitating some fire. Oh. My goodness. There we go. I didn't actually think I was going to hit him there. I felt kind of lucky. I just, I just love that he's, he's just kind of, you know, spinning around on his back. There's nothing he can do. He's just defenseless. I wish this fight wasn't three phases because I it's just the it's the same thing over and over and over again and I still don't know what exactly is the power that's like helping Mario and Bowser not get sucked into like the magma of whatever this star is at the center of the universe maybe it's Rosalina but then why is she protecting Bowser and us huh it can't be gravity because gravity's not blue is it Maybe it is, I don't know. Oh. Well, that would have been cool. At least this planet is see-through, so that's a nice touch. Oh, Bowser is hopping mad. My goodness. He's even more angry than Major What's-His-Butts. The, the big Monty Mole. That was terrorizing those rabbits, which, honestly, in retrospect pretty okay with that. Honestly, those rabbits were kind of jerks, and maybe they had it coming. You know? Alright, that's not... That's not where I wanted you to go. You could land your butt on that. Okay. He hit me and that at the same time, so I'll allow it. Show me your butt. That is something that you can only do in this game. I do not encourage you to do that to strangers or people in the general public. And then I always forget that this final fight is only two shots, which I think is very strange. And then Bowser dies a very horrific death. I don't remember which of the games it is. It's one of those like new new Mario Brothers games for like um, Wii U or Wii or something like that. And I remember 
Um, you knock Bowser into the lava, and then you know he his body like disintegrates, and he becomes Dry Bowser, the one that's in Mario Eight. I guess I could have saved this final battle for like this to kind of cap it all off, but whatever. It was a bit of a, a bit of a fake out. So here we go. We'll take our silver grand star because we're all done here. If the credits roll, I will cut that out because you've already seen them. Nobody wants to see two times credits. I don't even want to see first time credits. I totally get it. Totally empathize with all of you. So we did it again. We are the champions of the universe. There's Peach, just kind of flailing around. We might have to watch all of this. You're welcome, Peach. I don't understand why this has like so much bloom on it. It makes the resolution of this cutscene look really bad. So yeah, we'll I'll keep talking over this because I got a big mouth. We'll see this one last time. As the world explodes, kind of feels like Namek from Dragon Ball Z. After the big climactic fight. It would be kind of a cool fake out if there was a, a secondary fight with like Dry Bowser. But that does not happen. That's unfortunate. If it was like, this is the Super Mario HD 3D collection, whatever this is called. And then we have surprise DLC, and that's what it is. Bowser drunkenly stumbles around. He's had a, he's been hitting the bottle a little too much. Too many wine coolers. Arbor missed. Too many of those adult Capri Suns you can buy at the store. More pouches than a kangaroo. So that's it. I like how Mario walks outside the castle like this isn't just happening, like there isn't something absolutely catastrophic. Like how did he even get there? He was standing on like whatever that was, that little brick platform, and then suddenly he's back in Peach's castle. Like they're just hanging out, having some tea and scones. And then, uh, you know, the universe is ending. But don't worry. We'll be saved by this Luma who's just gonna explode for us. Thank you. All these Lumas. I made, I made this joke already. Sacrificing their beautiful little lives. Thank you guys. You've been so kind. As much as the Lumas have been kind, the, the viewers have been kinder. Thank you everybody for watching all of this. It's been a blast. Hopefully you guys didn't get too sucked into the, uh, into the Let's Play. I know it's hard not to sometimes. But yeah. It's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed every moment. And then we watch all of this again. Great. Yeah, I probably should have just done this the first time around when this could have been the... 120th star, but I didn't think of that. Planning the heads for planning the headers. I didn't do that. This was part of the star stuff episode, if you guys remember that. Back in like halfway through the Let's Play. Thanks, Rosalina, with your gigantic creepy eye and your huge ethereal body. We appreciate all you've done for us throughout the course of this Let's Play. And we're back to the festival again for the second time. I literally just wanted to show off what happens when you 120 the game, and uh, I probably actually didn't need to do that fight. I don't know. It made it sound like I did. It kind of railroaded me into it. But um, if I didn't need to do that, I mean, you got to see me fight Bowser again. A little more practiced. There's Shamu. For some reason, I was just on my game today. 
blessed by the gods of Nintendo. They were looking out for me. All those Lumas supporting me. Those creepy pumpkin Goombas. It's almost fall. You know, we're almost at the end of summer. Bring on fall. It's the best season of the year. Don't you forget it. Who doesn't love fall? Bonfires, crunchy leaves, Halloween, candy corn, hay rides, hoodies and jeans, fall sports, if you live in the United States of America. I mean, there's fall sports other, other places, but... Okay. Amazing. Welcome. Welcome, new galaxy. We did it. All those galaxies. It would be cool if this actually unlocked something, like, in terms of the gameplay, but that's it. That's all that did. And this is just the credit roll, so I'm going to cut this out. And I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, so here's a very slow scroll of the end. I'll probably put this back in just because I think it's funny. Thank you so much oh, you're welcome. You're so welcome. All right, so we're going to jump back in and uh, see what our prize is. For getting all of those 120 stars. What do you think it is, everybody? What's our prize? Rosalina looking ominous, perched atop her ivory tower. Nice little piano rendition of the observatory theme. Creepily, they couldn't have voice acted, you know, a couple of sentences. I'm trying to make my eyes sweaty, Rosalina. Don't mouth words at me. Combat Zeratory is one of my favorite songs, though, in uh, Mario game history. Maybe gaming history. It's, one, it's a definite top five for me. It's a classic. So I believe this... Cutscene is only available when you beat beat the game. 100%. I guess I technically am a completionist because I did beat this game 100%. This time around at least. Unless I'm just misremembering and this might have been shown the first time around, but I don't remember it. I've got the memory of a goldfish, so. And so much bloom, everything looks so like out of focus. I don't like it. Okay, great. That was a uh... Yeah, so here's your here's your prize everybody. There it is. Yeah. That's it. That is literally it. Great. Okay. So we're going to finish up on this screen. I'm thinking the bonus content is going to be a separate video just because this video itself is going long. But there it is, everybody. 120 stars, Super Mario Galaxy. This is a blast of cosmic proportions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I appreciate having all of you along for the ride. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for more, and I'll catch you in the next Let's Play. I've been D-Mike, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.